Hey, how's it going, Outlaws, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Yesterday, I went to the dentist and I was very sore the entire day, so I was like, let me just have a look at Skin Deep and find this woodpecker, because that's initially what I needed. Found the woodpecker, and I was like, I still didn't get the trophy, and I was like, why? And then I didn't skin the Chinese ringneck uh, uh, pheasant, so I skinned it and I got the trophy. And uh, yeah, so now we have the skin deep and now we have the zoologist. So next on the list is, sorry, I, I had to screenshot it, of course. Let's have a, that's not what I want to do. I'm just, I'm just, no, let me tell you about the day that I've had today as well. Um, I'll get into that in a second, but let me have a look. Okay, so that's 100% attendance, whatever, attendance. <laughs> let me just tell you now, it's going to get better as the video goes on. I'm just going to tell you now. Anyways. Uh, okay, so 5,000 across all shops is the one that I'm going to be working on next. But um, obviously I'm going to do live streams because I need to get the um, legendary animals. So I'll be spending 5,000 and doing legendary animals on, on stream. And I've got to survive three days holding a bounty of 250 in five states. That's the scroll, the work of art trophy that I need to figure out how to do because I don't know how to do it. Um, 30 items in story mode. And then upgrade the your guns to 518 bear attacks and then craft five pieces of ammunition in Red Dead Online and then that's it. And then that's it. And then we do the hardest one of them all, which is this one. 100% completion. And then we'll become the Legend of the West. Yes. Can I just go back onto the game? Where's the game? Where's the game? I don't know how to... <laughs> oh, here it is. Red Dead Redemption 2. Back to game. Good gracious me. Anyways... Okay, yeah, the day that I've had today. Let me uh, let me get into it. So today is my last day of work because not work work forever, but like because I've got a booked holiday, so like I booked to leave. I'm not going anywhere for holiday. It's just you booked a holiday basically. So I won't go back to work until the fourth of January. So I am very happy at the fact that I don't have to do anything till the fourth of January. <laughs> um, really looking forward to that. All right, let's just do this one. Distant delivery. Well, this really um, so yeah, that happened. For me. Oh, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let him chit chat, and then and then you we'll have a chit chat so right afterwards. <laughs> anyway, talking of journeys, we have some buyers lined up. They ain't local, but they pay well. So go make me proud too, partner. Will do, Crips. So yeah, so I was like messaging my mate, saying, "Oh my God, I've got like 50 minutes left before I got to go home. I've got like..." 20 minutes left before I get to go home and so on and so forth and uh, and then I get a message saying oh can you get some stuff from the supermarket for me and I was like oh fine so I went to Asda it's a supermarket you get food from there and stuff so I was I had a list on my phone looking at everything but little did I know that my Asda has completely changed on the inside everything is all over the place everything's i'm like what i don't even know i don't even know where everything is so i found my way around got some stuff that i needed and i couldn't find for the life of me baking sheets i couldn't find them so i found someone who worked there by the way it was jam-packed like it was busy as ever in asda and i'm like oh my god i just want to go out i don't want to be here i don't i don't even leave the house anyways so yeah i asked this woman who works there saying hi do you know where the uh, the baking sheets are and she goes sorry what and i'm like baking sheets and she looks at me and she's like oh yeah they're in the dog aisle they're in the what aisle the dog aisle okay right all right because from my memory yeah the baking sheets used to be where the baking products were for example baking trays oh i don't have time for you i'm telling a story baking trays uh, flour baking powder you know elsa and anna cupcakes you know what i mean oh my god i can't do this right now wait who's who are you oh god hello so yeah, anyways, so I had to go to the dog aisle, <laughs> find, um, you know, the baking sheet, found it. Because it was jam-packed in Asda. The people who were, like, queuing up for, um, to 
buy their food. We ha they had to like someone had to tell them where to go, like a worker. Like, okay, you can go to this till, and okay, you can go to that till. And I'm like, oh flipping hey, what's going on? You think it's nearly Christmas or something? So I uh, so then this woman comes. Oh, I am Viking. Just came online. Are you Viking? You're right. I don't worry. I'll go on. I'll go on COD with you later, mate. Um. But yeah, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, so then this woman comes up to me and she's holding like this scanner device in her hand and she's like, come over here, I'll scan your items to like make the queue go faster. Like, mind you, it was every single till had a massive queue. It wasn't just like the one that I was in. Um, so... So yeah, so then she scanned my stuff. And it was like really quick. She like scanned it and then she said, okay, she put it onto this like machine and then all I had to do was just... Oh, can you just... Can you just die? I had to just pay, basically. That's all I had to do. Because she did everything for me, bless her. And um, yes, and then I got my stuff, put my music on, on my merry way home. But no, <laughs> there was traffic outside. You would you would think that the Queen of England is outside Asda and she's on the streets like that's how busy it was And I, I didn't understand what was going on everywhere you went was traffic and busyness, right? Busyness <laughs> So then uh, I was like, oh my god, like stuck in this standstill for around 10 minutes and I see a like on the left side of the road there was like a, a garage and like a shop and stuff so I was like okay I'm gonna maneuver into that street and see where it takes me and I activated my Nathan Drake geography senses that's what I activated I activated my Nathan Drake map in my brain and I went through different streets and I went through different alleyways not alleyways but houses that live next to alleyways and I ended up going on a street that used to be my primary school and I was like oh Nice, I know where I am. So then, from the- sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you, mate. I, I didn't mean to shoot you. Oh, great. I've just made more enemies, trying to kill my enemies. So yeah. So then, I, I went home. I got home, because I skipped through all the traffic. And then I was like, -na 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 -na, you know, blasting and charted, but I actually wasn't. I was actually listening to JLS album in the car. So, yeah, that was my day today, but my day yesterday, oh, who's messaging me? I just heard that now. Is my phone on loud? I'm driving. I can't text and drive at the same time. I can't. You're from my phone. I'm from my phone. Ah! You can't throw your phone and drive. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Anyways, my day yesterday, I went to the dentist, didn't I? Because they were going to do um, the second part of my root canal, right? But then my dentist, she looks at me and she's like, my nerves are like in this one root. Like two of my nerves are combining together. So she can't, she can't kill the nerve or something like that. And she was like, oh, it's congested and con it's contested. I can't, I can't remember the word that she combined. I can't remember the word that she used. But she's basically telling me that both of my, my nerves are coming together. Like they want to get married. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Now what? So then she saw it's like full on drilling my, my freaking tooth. And I'm like, Ugh. obviously I didn't feel anything, but it's just like the uncomfortableness. And then she starts filing it. And then, and then she goes to me, she took an x-ray of my mouth, not my mouth, my tooth. And then uh, she goes, okay, let me go get uh, advice from another dentist. And I'm like, all right. So she leaves me alone in the room for around, four minutes something like that and I'm just sat there with the assistant dentist and I'm trying to make conversation with her whilst my whilst I'm numb by the way and I'm like oh what time did you finish today but then half of my face was like numb so I was like oh it's kind of you know like an absolute weirdo anyways so the other dentist comes in and he looks at the x-ray that she took of me and then he starts to drill and he starts to file and he's like saying oh yeah it's very like it's a very strange situation and and all that stuff so then after he drilled and after he um filed and whatever he did to my tooth he basically took an x-ray of my tooth again 
and then saw what he did and showed the nurse, not the nurse, sorry, the dentist, oh, this is what happened, this is what happened, whatever. I, I don't speak dentist, I don't understand. And then he said, we can't do the root canal, the second part of the treatment, because if we seal it up and if it gets inflamed again, it's going to be very difficult to remove the seal of the root canal. Like the, because basically the second part is to seal it and stuff like that. So I was like, uh okay so then they explained to me that we we're not going to seal it we're just going to dress it put a medicine on it and if it if it hurts again come back like if it gets inflamed come back and we'll have to change the dressing put more medicine on it and stuff like that or you will take the tooth out mind you this is the literally the last molar at the back of like it's literally the last two it's not gonna it's not like my incisors you know what i mean it's not like my front teeth or whatever so wait are you evil or not i can't tell so you you're gonna die anyway oh no, okay if you weren't evil now you were oh you were okay why did why did my voice stop just die just die anyways you what that was very rude very disrespectful if you ask me um so yeah so then they they dressed it up and the procedure should have taken at least 25 to 30 minutes but in my case it took an hour and 10 minutes because of everything that went down and getting the advice from the other dentist and so my mouth yesterday was in a lot of pain and the tooth it felt very tender and I, I had like a lump on, on my jawline like a little bump sort of thing on my jawline <sighs> so yeah it was very stressful not for me no yeah it was actually stressful for me but you know what i'm i'm good i'm good i'm just chilling killing time gazillion that's literally all i'm doing now i'm just i'm just yeah it's still it was sore in the morning uh but now it's not as sore if i poke it it'll hurt but hopefully it won't get inflamed. If it does, I don't know. I'll have to make the decision to either address it again, knowing that the pain can come back. Because uh, the dentist did say it does have a chance of infection. And I'm like, decent. I love that. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your positivity. But, yeah. <sighs> On the bright side, it's really nice and sunny outside, but it's absolutely freezing, so... Yeah. That's happened. That was my day yesterday and today. But I hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, don't you just love our story times? Look, I know this NPC is chasing me, but he's literally going to disappear in about five seconds. So, there you go. Not even five seconds. Oh, oh dear. At least there was no traffic. I just killed an animal. Oh, roadkill. Yeah, I don't even have any goods in my wagon. I just like, let me just have a look at my phone and let me just put it on silent just in case. There you go. It's on silent now. The only time, the only time I actually don't pay attention to my phone. Oh, yeah, well, I don't. Who's got a collectible here? Oh, it's a flower. Is this an oregano? Yes, I knew it. It was a Texas Texas blue. What? Calm down. Calm down. I've had a good day today. Don't calm down. Who are you, Ghost of Tsushima? Why is there three people? What's happening? I don't feel safe. Please. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Go, go, go. Just go the opposite way. Don't look back. Don't talk to strangers. It's not good for you. Anyways. Don't you just love our little story times? I mean, I, oh, I feel like I'm just exhausted after that. Is this sun going to come up? Uh, that's not that's not what I want. Uh, that's what I want, but that's what I want as well. Yeah. Oh, let's go watch the sunrise together because honestly, I think we deserve it after the journey that we've had. Do you think those three people were trying to ambush me? Or do you think they just spawned? I think they just spawned because there was three of them and I would have noticed them. And I would have, like, shot them. No, I'm joking, I wouldn't. If they shot me, I would have shot them. But they didn't, so I wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, what a beautiful way to end the day, innit? Innit, mate? Innit? <laughs> I'm gonna leave this video right here. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed my lovely story time. I mean, who doesn't love my story times, right? I, uh, 
I have very eventful days, don't I? Um, but yeah, regardless, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a wonderful day, or you will have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, be safe, stay smiling, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys!